everyone, it's Allison, and I have not recorded a video in a long time. I've kind of even forgotten how to do it. I did some of Ethany's tarot challenge at the beginning of the year, and I have not done anything since. I really haven't had much to say because I'm still pretty noobish uh, in the tarot world, but I did have a little something to say today that I thought might interest people, so I thought I'd come in here and see if I could remember how to make a video. So we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Uh, and my topic for today is just showing some of the thrift store finds I've been able to find. Um, now that I'm into tarot, I have become a little bit of a collector. And when I do that, it doesn't happen to me very often. I get, if I get passionately interested in subjects and passionately interested in topics. But this is the first thing I've been interested in where I want to acquire things, which maybe is a little bit dangerous. So I've tried to be good about um, the money that I spend, and but I've always got my eye out in used bookstores, in thrift shops, things like that. And I did have found some great things, the Mythic Tarot, um, Tarot of the Vampires, or the Vampires Tarot, I can't remember which one, it is Robert Place's Tarot I found for $30 in a used bookstore. But I thought today I would talk about tarot decks that I found for under $10 in uh, thrift stores and elsewhere. Uh, really, actually, just, I think, thrift stores. And uh, talk about that, and then talk about one fairly scandalous tarot that I found that I thought was interesting I'd never seen or heard of before. Um, so, um, this is in no particular order. Um, actually, maybe I'll start with a non-tarot deck. Um, just in my sort of search for ca cards, I found these little Habitat cards. I'd never heard of them. You can search them up online, and they are a thing that exists. Um, and the instructions make it clear, well, they're sort of storytelling cards or therapy cards um, or environmental education cards, but they have the last instruction. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow is a suggestion of how you can use them. Each player is dealt three cards face down, and turn each player opens them, arranges them in a row, and tells a story involving all three, connecting them chronologically. Um, so I guess they could be divinatory, but they're just kind of fun, and I actually really like them because um, they're all about how we, they're pretty small, uh, they're all about how we relate to our natural world. Um, isn't that neat? And I love that they don't have any words on them. Uh, wow. <laughs> I like that one. I know I watch Avalon Cam Cameron's videos and I think she doesn't like toads, so this would be the herd nightmare card, but I think that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, technology, nature, um, First Nations peoples, they're actually Canadian, which is also nice, I'm Canadian, and uh, I think they're crafted by a BC artist. So um, habitat cards, I haven't really done much with them, although I have used them um, with my classes. Um, I'm a teacher, and just when we're talking about sort of ecological, human nature relationships, nothing tarot related at all. Um, but I found those in a Goodwill for $8, and they're pretty great. I like them a lot. Um, so that's habitat. I'll show you the box, actually, because they're pretty rare. But you can order them online if this is the kind of thing that floats your boat. Oh, sorry. I see I've forgotten how to angle it. It's reversed, Allison. Um, there they are. So I was pretty happy with that little find. Um, the next one is, I won't spend a lot of time talking about it because um, it's the Morgan Greer. Uh, this, I found, I think all the rest of these, yeah, all the rest of these I found in Value Village, which I think in uh, the States is called Savers, um, orange and white logo, oh, sorry, Morgan Greer, Morgan Greer. Everybody knows this deck, but I was really happy to find it because um, I really wanted it. It was really early in my tarot journey, and it was $2.99 uh, at Value Village. Um, it is old. Um, there's a couple cards. I won't be able to find them now, probably. Maybe you can tell from the backs that they're kind of worn. I know they sort of are given that look anyway. They are worn. I don't care. I actually like it when the decks have some life behind them. Like, I like the way they feel. But there is one or two cards. Oh, that's... Meh, meh, meh. I'm not going to be able to find it now. Uh, they've got a little couple ink stains on the back. Um, I don't care about that really either. Um, uh, but if you really knew them, maybe you'd be like upset that you'd be able to recognize which card was which. But I figure you're shuffling them anyway, so who cares? It looks like a kid maybe got at them. Like there's marks in the box, which is I think why they were so cheap. The box is very shabby. But 
was just for me and um, I like it so I was pretty happy. Um, the other thing is you can tell how faded it is when you compare it to my little uh, Morgan Greer in a tin uh, but I never use it. I mean I never use the one in a tin. I like the bigger cards better. I have big hands. I like big cards so um, maybe one day I'll trade that Morgan Greer in a tin. But that was a pretty great find, so I was pretty happy about that. So that was Value Village. Uh, another Value Village one that I just saw cards, and if you go into Value Village, or again, Savers, I think it is in the States, sometimes I've got bags of stuff. And so in this bag of stuff, I saw an organza bag of cards, and I didn't know what they were, but the entire bag was $2.99. So I thought, eh, why not? Um, and it turns out... They're very desirable, sought-after cards. They are... I had to look them up because I didn't know what they were. They're the Well-Worn Path cards by Raven Grimasi. Oh, I think... Is that upside down? Yeah. But there's a catch. I can see why someone gave them away. Because when I got into them, they were just... like It was like they had been crazy glued together. And I slapped them and steamed them and looked up how to separate cards. Uh, and I separated them. But they didn't come out unscathed, as you can tell. Um, oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, blah, blah. Um, they have, like, the sides. No, there's a couple that look okay. Um, but they are, uh, they're damaged. Uh, but again, $1.99 for that. And I don't even remember. I think I actually put the rest of the things back in the Value Village donation bin as I was on my way out. I just wanted the cards. But they're really pretty. Um, and I know they go for a lot of money. Um, but uh, who would actually want this damaged deck? I don't know. And some of them are really, like, uh, some of them are just around the borders. And I thought about cutting off the borders. Although these borders are actually quite like. Um, but then there's some that go beyond the borders, as you can see. So I was like, maybe I shouldn't trim. I've never trimmed a deck and I'm scared to. So maybe I shouldn't. I don't know what to do with them, really. Um, I've been watching Kelly Bear's videos because she's such an inspiring... She, what she does with decks. If you don't watch Kelly Bear and how she changes her decks and modifies them, like she is an artist. Uh, and I am not. So I'm just so frightened to do anything with them. But I thought maybe I could distress them a little bit and then fill in the white spots somehow so they wouldn't look so damaged. That was over a year ago and I'm too scared and I haven't done anything yet. But still, that was a pretty cool find for $1.99. I think it was even in the, um, uh, like the, to not toiletries, that's not what they call it, but like the personal care section with hair rollers or something. I don't know, but it was quite a find. Uh, and they did all get separated, but with some damage. Um, then I found, really excitingly... The Mythic Tarot, uh, a perfectly good deck, and I actually still have the bag, the Value Village bag. $3.99. Hey, I want to emphasize, this is different stores, like whenever I go past one, I go in. Um, if I'm in a different town, I was going back and forth to a different town a lot when my mom was sick. Uh, and my dad lives in another different town, and so I sort of do this circuit of two hour... Uh, visits around my area. So I'm in these value villages a fair amount. Um, so this just didn't all come easy. Most of the time I go in there, so there's nothing. So these are all just happy accidents. But I like this edition. I actually have the original edition, which I got for $15. So it didn't make my $10 cut uh, for this video that I really like. And I was like, oh, that's okay. I can give this one away. Um, uh, if somebody wants it, although it is quite specific. I have a friend who I've given some decks to who's just learning tarot. Um, but this one with the mythic angle, um, she just wasn't very interested in. And I like the card stock on this one. Um, it's a lot thicker and it's a nice balance. I don't like the art of the new mythic. I'm sorry, I don't. I just, I like the original artwork better. So now I have two decks with your, oh, so pretty. Two decks with the original artwork. And that's awesome. Uh, I was really happy to find that one. Now my next deck, I didn't know anything about. This is my uh, second most recent acquisition from thrift stores. And uh, I didn't know anything about it, but I saw it. It was a tarot deck. It was less than $10, and so I bought it. I've only turned down two. I have seen two in Value Village that I have left because I'm not a completist. 
And if I really don't want something, then somebody else is going to want it. And I want them to have that joy of finding the, the special deck. Um, the first was the Dishonored Tarot deck, which I think is actually part of a game because I couldn't, I looked at the images online. I couldn't make heads or tails of it. I don't understand it. And so it wasn't for me, but I, I do think it's some other thing. I don't think it's actually really like a tarot deck as I know them. And the other was the Gilded Tarot because I hate that deck. <laughs> it's so terrible. I That artist is really gifted. And when I first started in tarot, I thought that would be the deck that I got because the easy tarot pack was everywhere and I like color. And um, But the Fool is George W. Bush. Like, I can't. I, and that's not what the Fool is to me. Like, I mean, everything in context now, I guess. Um, and a American president isn't so much my concern because I'm Canadian, but I lived in the States for a year and I love the States so much and they're my neighbors and I'm really stressed out about the States right now. Um, but still, George W., not in my tarot deck. Thanks. Um, anyway, diversion. But I found the Art Nouveau tarot, and this is probably my most exciting find. Um, tarot, Vampire's Tarot, Tarot of the Vampires. Vampire's Terror, I think, by Robert Place. It's probably the most exciting find because I know how hard it is to find. But again, that was $30. This was $6.99 at Value Village, and it's out of print. Oh, I don't think I've ever had like a, a find like that before. Um, I didn't know that till I brought it home. Um, but it's pretty. I like the backs a lot. Um, just really nice. And the cards are a nice size. They're um, smaller and thinner. Uh, cardstock is good. I like that. Um, and if you look through, I sh oh, I'm sorry. I should have organized this before I started. Maybe you guys know this, but let me see if I can quickly find. Um, okay. So, uh, if you look through the minors and I've just got a couple of cards here, but they all do this. And actually my daughter was really into this. They kind of tell a little story. Like it's the same people as you go through moving from thing to thing, right? I don't know if this is showing up on screen, but like they're finding their way through a journey and a story and a path. And that's quite cool. Um, this is pretty recent. I haven't done much with this yet, um, but that was a really exciting find and I like it a lot. It is small. Oh, there, <laughs> right on top. There's the, the Morgan Greer with the ink stain on it, which also is, that's why I didn't notice because I'd taken out the Hermit to show you the color difference. That's one of my favorite cards in every tarot deck is the Hermit. If it's not a nice Hermit, I don't want the deck. And as you can see, it's quite a bit smaller and skinnier. Um, but that's nice. I like that. Okay, so now I think we're on to my most recent acquisition, which for me is a controversial meh, one. I bought it because it's a tarot deck and it was under $10 and it wasn't the Gilded Tarot and it wasn't Dishonored Tarot. And I was really excited at first because I had never seen it before. And it came with a book. So these two things together were $6.99 at Saver. Uh, this tarot. And then all I could see, I, so I could see the cover of the book. And then this was covering up the picture. And these were the backs. Um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm an idiot. And I was like, I have never seen that back before. What is that? I, I was like, oh, maybe it's going to be a real dud. and But I'll get it. And it is a Rider weight recoloration. Um, actually, I'm going to talk about that one again in a second. It's yellow uh, and purpley, which sometimes I like. Like, I like the combination of yellow and purple as complementary colors. I don't mind that high priestess. priestess. Um, in some of them, it shows up quite nicely. Um, like, I think that's kind of distinct and neat. Um, there were some reviews on Amazon that were like, blech. Oh, what an ugly deck. And I can get why. But it's a it's like a mute, very muted yellow. It's it's not a harsh yellow like sometimes Rider Waite is uh, identified by. Uh, and it makes it look borderless because the borders aren't a different color. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's another good example of what I'm going to talk about. I actually quite like that sun, uh, the coloration of the sun. So I was like, wow, how have I never heard of this little deck? Like, again, I have a lot of Rider Waite. I mean, not as many as some probably, but I have a lot of Rider Waite Smiths. Um, I quite like that. So, huh. However, hmm. the tarot. The traditional tarot reinterpreted for the modern world by Adam Fronteras. 
who is, a, I think, kind of a big deal in England. I looked him up, and he's been on some TV shows talking about tarot and divination stuff. And okay, interesting. And even I was excited. Look at the book. Oh, there's my favorite hermit. I love my hermit. So uh, it's got little color depictions and little things for a card. It's like, what? Right on. What a steal. Well, they're three of cups. That's a good example of a card that looks super borderless. Um, so here's my qualm. I was going to say quibble or qualm, and I mixed it up. One. I'm not reinterpreted. It's the same old, same old, which is fine. I don't mind same old, same old. I'm just learning. I love to have that advice. But don't say you're reinterpreted for the modern world. You just don't say it like that. The other thing is that there is a history of tarot. How interesting. Picture of the James Bond movie where they use the tarot deck. Um, the design of early cards, all illustrated. Oh, how nice. From gambling to divining, contentious cards. Picture of Alphaeus Levy, uh, the Freemasons, Occult, and the Golden Dawn. And there's one, uh, it doesn't matter if you can read it, tiny paragraph. There it is. One mention of Pamela Coleman Smith. And the whole deck is her. The whole deck is her interpretation. It's not a modern reinterpretation. This is Pamela Coleman Smith's work. And it took me forever to even find that one tiny little reference to her art. Uh, Aleister Crowley gets way more play. The Freemasons get way more play. It's almost as if he wants us to think that his reinterpretation is these images. That's just weird. Um, here's the other thing that is not good about this deck. You can tell it's just a cheap knockoff. Because at first I was like, wow, have I discovered some new version? Um, a pentacle and a half. <laughs> this isn't the two of pentacles. This is the 1.76 of pentacles, right? The images are cut off, um, which is just so careless. And when the images aren't cut off, because they clearly they wanted smaller cards. Again, this is more close to the size of the Art Nouveau tarot. Um, well, it's, I guess it's a little bit bigger than the Art Nouveau tarot. So let's see. Uh, but when the images are not cut off, well, that one's also an image cut off. Let me find an example of what I'm talking about now. Oh. Pamela Coleman Smith's little insignia is cut off. And that's just disrespectful. Like, that's rude. Um, it's just a, it's just a bit of a jerk thing to do. And it's a real shame because I think the backs are quite cute, the little suns. I mean, it's not reversible, but that's fine. I don't read reversals. I like the size. The card stock is, I mean, just normal, but fine. But the recoloration has some nice effects. I would have liked this deck, but I just feel like he's pumping up somebody else's work to make it seem like his own. Um, and that's not cool, Adam Fronteris. Adam Fronteris. However, it's very exciting to find a tarot deck in a in a store um, and that is a really good deal. So I have no advice to you. Um, I think I've just been incredibly lucky so far. But um, pop by your local Goodwill or your local Value Village or Savers or used bookstore. And uh, just keep your eyes open because you never know what might come your way. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I remember how to upload it. And